By the end of this video, you'll be able to delete a decal from Roblox. Let's get started. So there are two main ways that you can delete a decal from Roblox. The first way that I'm going to show you is how to delete a decal from a part within Roblox Studio. The second way will show you how to delete a decal from your Roblox account. So let's say you're working in Roblox Studio and you have a part that has a decal on it. I'm going to go ahead in my toolbox and just add a decal to this. So we've got this decal on this part. What you need to do is first select the part. And once you have that selected, you can go to the right hand side of your screen in the Explorer tab and you can see it selected the part. Now it might not be dropped down. So you want to make sure that you click the drop down arrow here. And now I can see that there's a decal there. And so that's the picture of the smiley face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the decal and then click delete. You also could right click on the decal and then just press delete on your keyboard. So you can see the decal was deleted from the part. And this will work with anything that you're working with. If you have an avatar with a decal on it, or if you have any part with a decal. So the second way to delete a decal is from your Roblox account. So you want to go to roblox.com and sign into your account. Then you want to click on the create tab on the top left hand side. Once you've clicked on the create tab, then you want to go to your creations with the decals. You can also do this with group creations. It's the same process. So I'm going to go to my creations and then click on decals. And so now these are the decals that I have uploaded to Roblox. So I'm going to click on the first picture here, the stream picture, and this will pull up the page for the decal. For some reason, my decal is not loading, but that's okay. So in order to delete the decal, you first need to archive it. So to do that, you want to click on the three dots here and then click on configure. On this page, you want to scroll down and then you'll see an option for archive on the bottom. You can restore an archive, but first I'm going to archive this and it says select successfully archived. I'm going to click save successfully updated. Now I'm going to go back to details. Okay, so now I'm on the details page again. I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to click on configure again. And this time when I go down here, I'm going to click on distribute to marketplace. And so you can see right now it's archived. But now you want to make sure both of these are enabled. And so now I'm going to click on save it says successfully updated. And then I'm going to go back to details one more step. And now when you click on the three dots, there's a option for delete from inventory. So when I click on delete from inventory, it will ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete this item from your inventory? You're going to click yes. And then it'll say successfully removed from inventory. So now when I go back to my creations, so I click on create and then go to my decals. You can see that my decals are still there. When I click on configure for that decal that I deleted, you can see when I go to the details, so you see there's a new option here for get. So I'm going to have to do that to get that decal. You can always re-upload the decal if there was something uh, that you need to change about your decal. Uh, and then re-upload it. You can always do that with the same process you did the first time. So you now know how to delete a decal from Roblox Studio and also from Roblox. If you've made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in how to make a sound region in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. I'll put a link to that video here.